Okay, Sergeant Major. Priorities of work, what do you think? Fire. Okay, fire. Now, let's gather up some firewood, and then we'll start on that fire. Okay, this is a tinder pile here. Dry, fine stuff. Yeah, I think we got enough wood to get her started. Okay. Now, that's an old Army first aid kit. I always keep that as a little backup. <laughs> Mike was a medic, a Special Forces medic, and has all sorts of weird knowledge. Yep. Now, granted, most folks don't carry glycerin. In the old days, they used to use this for our skin conditions like psoriasis and dyshydrosis. But I use it because I can treat that and do something else with it. Well, this is not only used uh, for treating water, but it's also used for uh, treating fungal infections and yeast infections. And that's the kind of things you do get out here in the dump. Yes, exactly. And the reason I carry these two old school things is because I can also mix these together and get a chemical reaction and help me get a fire started even when it's soaking wet. I'm gonna give these to you. Take maybe about a tablespoon of one, tablespoon of the other, pour them in this little plastic container so they don't drip down onto the ground. All right, that's, that's good. The potassium permanganate in. And now here goes the glycerin. All right, wait, that's enough. All right. 12 seconds later. Oh, look, it's doing something. Look, there look, you look. Go. Wow, look at it. Yes, science. It's bubbling like a witch's broth. Now get ready, because that thing's going to go, and it's going to wow. be a very high temperature. How amazing. Very quickly. What a brilliant thing. Can I pour more chemicals in? Yes, you can. There you go. Oh! What was that? Truly, you are a wizard. Oh, that's it, that's it, fire. that's it. It's like a firework. Now we gotta exercise caution with this stuff since it's highly flammable. There we go. Now, most folk don't run around with an old medical kit full of potassium permanganate. However, what you should always carry with you is a lighter.